Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play some more EverQuest 2. So we are back. I am now 45. We're going to mentor down today uh, for 30 for Butcher Block Mountains, and we'll go through that. Um, I did a couple episodes, uh, and I put them under our event playlist so we could get them out earlier. And that was for the Brewfest Day uh, festivals uh, that were happening. So I did a bunch of quests there. And uh, yeah, so... Uh, we're back anyways, and today we're going to be doing the um, leaper mount, so butcher block here, just right here, um, so you can take the bird up to here. Anyways, uh, we're going to be doing the leaper one. There is both a trade skill version and a non-trade skill version, the adventure version. I believe both require level 30, so let's do the Hello. trade skill one first. Um, so we'll accept this. Now this is going to probably, yeah, it's going to be gray because we're like 95 or 96 uh, trade skills. So it's going to not, you know, obviously be that great. But uh, we're going to look around for fossils, which are just going to be sparklies around this area, I guess. I don't know how far away. They said around this area. So oh, here's one right here, for example. Oh, I see them all over the place now. Yeah. We're just going to go and collect these guys here. No, I'm entered down, so these guys aren't gray to me. Which, I mean, it, it, it doesn't. I don't need them to be gray, but I mean, at the same time, it, it would have been faster to clear this if they were uh, gray. I just need one more to go here. Don't forget, we can fly. Oh, they're, they're out there quite far actually so you can see one oh yeah there's one over there too still okay so there you go we're already done one of the parts here there's probably a few parts my guess is Hello. okay so what we have to do here oops is uh clean the fossils eh uh, so at a workbench, we need to find a workbench here. This is a workbench. We need to clean the fossils. There you go. Not DOS. Foss. There you go. And yeah, so we'll just begin with those guys. I guess this has like a harder progression on it because... Uh, with my level and stuff, this should go faster, I'd assume, but especially since it's uh, using the sandpaper stuff. So you're, you're going to want to have some glimmering sandpaper, obviously, for this. I uh, The wiki was nice enough to give me a heads up on what you need, so I already got that done. So Basically, it's just our standard old uh, trade skilling. We're just going to go through this and get it done. So Okay, we're almost done here. There we go. We got all five done. Yep, okay. There you go. Except, let's grab the next one, shall we? So here you go. So we need to buy sharpened tools, which we can buy from said merchant down here, I guess, down below. Yeah. So let me fly down there and get that. I guess I could fly, yeah, right here. That's where the stairs are anyway. It's kind of nice. I derped up because I don't know if at one point I thought uh, I got myself a new mount and I mean it's cool to add a new mount to my collection uh, here I'll show you what it looks like nice griffin bird here this is from the brew fest but uh, I thought uh, you know I saw the stats on it and it was just derpy and I thought oh look it has stats on it it does 150 I'm not thinking that ours already did 150 I guess um, and so I thought oh I'm gonna be able to fly faster and stuff like that and then I realized it was like oh I'm an idiot that was always the case, so. Um, either way, it's all good. We got another one, but uh, I feel like the tools are not from this one. Trader. Oh, there you go. Trader. Sharpened tools. Yeah. So we're going to need to buy five sharpened tools. This is what sharpened tools are. Oh, they're just a quest item, so. Uh, I thought maybe it would have more to it, but no, they're just, uh, yeah. One, two, three, four, five. But yeah, so I thought, oh crap, you know, I'd get my mount speed up even faster and I would just be like flying in circles like Superman kind of thing. I was, I was kind of a little overly excited about it. And then I realized after I bought it for 200 of the tokens, which took me a long time because I had to do this uh, repeatable race thing 40 times, basically five tokens each time. 
And then I realized, oh, but it's like, all right, that's fine. Cause then I got to use it on a cool looking mount anyways, but it was just like, whoopsies. So here's the uh, tools here. Okay, so I got that one, that one. Okay. There we go. Hello. There we go. We're going to talk to this person here. Oops. Hi there. Okay, and then we're going to collect some notes from somebody as well. Oh, right here. Accept and research the notes. I don't think I've ever done scribe. Oh, okay. So scribe. Okay. So I've never done that before to be fair. So that's interesting. So I guess we just double click this. Um, and then which one is the scribe table? Is there even one here? I don't know. This is the woodworking. I mean, I wonder if it could be on here again. This is a work table, right? So, okay, yeah. So there's uh, an engraving desk at the the docks here. So we'll go there. Here you go. So there's the docks right here. So it's over here. There you go. And I guess we just look for research here. Oh yeah, here you go. So we can do crate here, and glimmering incense. I thought I had that, but apparently I must have derped up somehow. Oh, I did film it twice where it was once. Uh, okay. I gotta get myself some incense then. Okay, yeah, so this uh, NPC here sells them, so we're good. So we just go back here, research, and then you can see your materials that you require. And then, yeah, same thing again. So we're just gonna do this five times in a row, and then we'll move on from there. Let's see if this one's any different than the other one. No, it looks pretty straightforward. So I'm in the enchanted land getting more briar wood. I already did it once because I needed more for the research nuts and I'm just looking ahead for the next quest. Also need some more for it. So um, unfortunately, I guess the wiki didn't quite display it, um, uh, the, the total amounts. Like some of it was right, but some of it was not, uh, at least not for the briar wood. So just to keep in mind that you're probably better off bringing extra. I was originally going to bring um, just like the full stack of whatever I had in my uh, my bin. But I was like, ah, no, I won't bother doing that. And now I kind of wish I did because obviously it would have been a little more useful <laughs> if I had uh, just brought the full stack and then dumped it after just because then, you know, I wouldn't have been running back and forth to the Enchanted Lands. But yeah, so just keep in mind that because it's a level 30 quest, they are using the 30 to 40 materials. So like somewhere like the Enchanted Lands is a perfect place to get the Briarwood, where here you'd get the uh, one tier lower. So that wouldn't work so well. I'm here. There we go. Well met. There you go. We're on the last part, I think now. There it is. Cool. Increase your airspeed by 200%. I guess that's when it's jumping, not like all the time. Because that would be a little over the top. It's like, hey, I got this new mountain. It just goes insane. Okay, so craft five strong, uh, yeah, create five strong tents. Uh, so at the dock with the following materials. Okay, scribe, did we get the, oh yeah, we already got it. Okay. So we're just going to head to the docks here again. Let's uh, copy this over here. So we're going to head to this one spot right here. There you go. Pretty simple. So imagine having 200 air speed right now. You'd be getting over here a little faster, but it's not a big deal. It's just every little inch of uh, I can pump out is going to be kind of fun, I think. So that's just how I see it. Okay, so here you go. And then we're going to open this up and then we're going to type in tent. And yeah, here you go. Strong tent. So here's your materials that you need. So everything else should have been fine. It was just, I would have not had enough of the briar wood again, so. And there we go. 
Wow, this one might actually be easier. Because we were... Yeah, I mean, Carpenter uses these, doesn't it? Or at least it uses the one part of it. Uh, I think at originally, so maybe that's why you get a bit more. Yeah, this one definitely is getting a huge impact, so... That's kind of nice. We're on our last one here. Probably didn't even need to do a cut, to be fair. It was so darn fast. There you go. Now we can return. Um, uh, start to the next. Uh, I guess so. Yeah, I think we're good. Where is our? Oh, right here. I was gonna go a little too far, apparently. Hello. There you go. And then we're gonna speak to somebody. Oh yeah, here we go. I'm here. Okay, and then yeah, we're gonna. It's like now I'm even more confused because this isn't the person like right. Oh. Oh, I see. That's how they're doing it. Oh, that's cool. And there you have it. You just come by here and pet it whenever you want. Okay, cool. And there we have it. So, uh, yeah. We got it. And uh, so let's see what it, it happens when we equip it here for fun. Equip. And then, so we're going to just unmount and then mount here. I guess, okay. And let's do show always. There you go. So this is where you move really fast on the I guess it's got like a slow fall effect to it too I didn't realize how powerful it is so you know imagine especially back in you know further back you know when you know this became a thing and you know you still needed level 80 crafting or 90 whatever for flying this would have been a pretty impressive mount to get at early stages just because hey look like now you can leap over really big obstacles and uh, you know Obviously, you're, you're you're moving pretty good when you're doing this leaping, but the leaping, I'm guessing it's up and down that you're getting the, or at least the up that you're probably getting a lot of that, that speed where it's probably not as much forward. But still, that's that's pretty badass, honestly. Cool. Okay, so there you have it, my friends. That that's a really cool uh, mount. Okay, so there's now the other one we have here, which we're going to work on. And this is the adventure version of it. So, And I think it shows it up right away. So basically, um, you're just going to go through a bunch of different things. So lots of collecting, killing, you know, all that fun stuff. So um, let's go ahead and get our merc out because might as well. And uh, yeah, so we're going to go and get some fossils that are over here. Okay, so this must be... The fossil right here I see sparkling, I'm guessing. No? Yeah. Oh, that's not getting it, apparently. Oh, there you go. There's a really horrible hitbox there. There we go. Yeah, you gotta be pretty careful with uh, how little the hitbox is here. There's one here. Beautiful. Two to go. It's pretty far everywhere. The other ones might have been, you know, this far as well. I'm just being lazy trying to avoid, you know, aggroing creatures. But, uh, yeah, I'm surprised how many there are. So you definitely don't have to worry about, you know, running uh, out of them. <laughs> You'd have a few people out here doing this and have plenty for everyone. Okay, next is find the egg, huh? So, by the altar, blah, blah, blah. I guess we it's an area thing it shows on here, but the exact 
egg is over here. Which I think we might have... Oh, no, this is a different one, I think, than the one we saw before. I remember seeing an egg before somewhere, but... Okay, where did our egg go? There we go. Some corpse got in the way. Okay, return the fossil. Here you go. Well met. Well met to you. Okay, take the egg to the upper camp. Salutations. Okay, collect bear fur and some other stuff. Okay, so look at that. We're going to get it here, here, and then there as well. Okay, so the first two are here, so we're going to do blood fur, I guess. Then Drake blood, it looks like, and then the nest material. So bear fur, here we go, from these guys, I guess. The bears themselves. That was a bit weird. Where did that guy come from? Maybe he's doing the same quest. There we go. Okay, so we got that one, and then we're just gonna have to run right around here. Get our next one. Oops. Ah, here they are. I remember these guys, they were pretty badass. I guess because they were kind of higher things in this zone. And now we're going to go and get that nest material, which we have to get all the way over here. So we can get all nested in. Oops. What the? My mouse is not... That is so weird. I've had that a couple times now. It's like there's like a window there, but there's no window there, I'm pretty sure. But my mouse... I It might have been the... The numbers or something. I don't know. I've done it more and more lately where I can't right click and get like a hold of my character and move it around. It just gets jammed up for some reason. But I really don't actually know what causes it to happen. So I guess what we're going to do is we're just going to fly this way right around. I'm guessing up top we're going though. I wasn't sure if I could fly over the uh, obstacle up there. So I was kind of doing it this way. Oh, there's a shiny here. I feel like we need to collect that. There we go. So nested material is just right in here. Oh, oh, we can get in there. That's not the nested material. This is. Are we landed yet? I can't tell if we're... Uh... Oh, here we go. There we have it. And then we can just take off and keep going here. So let's go back. There you go. Let's change our mount. I mean, I think I like it to hide during combat or never show. I think it was the one we do. Yeah. Because you do the always show is fine or uh, always hide kind of thing. 
Uh, but if you do the hide in combat, that's where you get that weird animation lock that we don't like. So um, we're, we're avoiding that anyways. Okay, here we go. Hello. Okay, so we need some wisps over here. We're doing something wispy and we can't let that happen, so we're gonna deal with them. So here are some wisps there. The only downside of wisps is though they're in the air, so that's that's the downside, right? I don't know where you came from, but that was rude of you. I thought you had to kill that wisp a little faster than that. Okay, you've done that one? Good. They're a little high in the air, so I just thought, eh. Send her to attack them down at least. Like, that's way too high, to be fair. I guess because you can use your bow or whatever to pull. But I don't think I can auto attack that way, no. Well, this one dropped when she moved. Okay. Might as well aggro everyone, right? Okay. Let me hand that in. Awesome. A shiny down here. Okay. Hello. There we go. And then we're gonna fuse. Oh, we get to do it right here. We're going over here to have a chat. Hello. Okay. Salutation. Well met. Okay. There we go. That's another one done, my friends. How cool is that? So, um, we'll just look at it instead of uh, do what we did. So, we had this one. And then we had, where's the other one hidden? Here you go. So one's lighter, one's darker, basically, which is pretty cool. They, they both, you know, provide the same function. Um, I didn't pay attention to if they had any kind of stats. No, they don't. Okay, so uh, that's pretty much it for Butcher. Well, there might be some stuff in Butcher Block Mountains that we missed originally. Let me look around. Okay, so I'm in the Chanted Lands. Um, in Butcher Block, it looked like most uh, like quests were done, except uh, there was this trade skill one, uh, but it was very, very multi. I feel like it was like a million things in one, basically. So I feel like that's its own episode, basically. Uh, but uh, just filling in some quests, I was looking for quests here, and I clicked the wall here, and well, there you go. There's a, a quest on the wall. Sometimes you don't you know see these. Examine a map. And so look at this, wasps, beetles, badgers, turtles, and bears in the area. That's awesome. Also, another quest that I noticed here when we were doing the um, Brewfest stuff, uh, and found a quest in here. I'm like, what? We missed this one somehow? How did we miss this? Well, we didn't miss it because this one was, I guess, some sort of, uh, you know, one that we did. It says, obtain the quest. You need to first get the crossing of the fancy blah, blah, blah in the fort area. I like how he talks, but... Um, Oh gosh, I'm trying to talk here. Um, the Fort Area Worship Dock of Zek Orkish Waste. Yes, yeah, so basically it was because I did stuff there. 
I guess that triggered this one as well. Now, I have something else here that's popping up, but uh, whereabouts is that one? Oh, you know what? Is there an underneath the dock one too? Oh yeah, there is, and those are both repeatable. Now this one goes to River Vale itself, which then isn't one we really do because, well, from my experience so far for the River and Vale ones, it's more like, um, yeah, I must go to the Enchanted Lands and seek out a blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so seek out information about, okay, so maybe that one we can do. But we're definitely going to have to go to the other place eventually. But maybe we can do up to that point. And then leave it at B4 when we go in there. Which I guess we need to do an episode there soon. Because it has a bunch of quests. I'm thinking that I've already failed this one. It says speak to blah 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 in Rivervale. Oh, I haven't done that part yet. Oh, wait, that's in Rivervale. Seek out, hunt corrupted, bridge, blah, 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 five keys, visit Rivergate. Okay, yeah, you know what? It's all in River. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I'm confusing myself, but it's all in that area. Okay, so we get to just hunt these guys, basically. We're, at, we're set to sell level 30, so perfect stuff to hunt this stuff and just wax them down for a while. There we go. So we have to kill wasps, beetles, badgers, turtles, and bears. Pretty much all the animals in the area. I'm not sure if this has a, another part to this or if it's just the one thing. No, it's just that's it. This is why it's sometimes you know important to pay attention to the walls and things like that. You never know when you'll find a quest like this. Well, I'll keep grinding away and we'll be back soon. Oh, look at that. I leveled up. What a pleasant surprise. I wonder which one's better here. This is a master one. That's probably going to be better for now. What's wrong one? Yeah. Let's see which one's better. So, strength. Oh, yeah, it just like blows it away out of the water. You put it there eventually, and then you could just replace it, anyways, but yeah. So, we're left on bears basically right now. I just finished the wasps. The wasp ones are actually really annoying because they have some of the three up ones, and. Those were really... Oh, these guys are three up, too. I forgot some of them are like that. Look at this guy. A great buyer. Oh, he's just regular. Okay. He's a aggroing mama there. Yeah, some of these guys are a little tougher just because they have the three up. Heroic. There you go. Okay, let's see what we got down here. Oh, if I can avoid the mother, I might as well. They just take longer to kill and still need to kill two other ones, right? So. Makes it easier. Here's one here. And then we just need one more, which is pretty simple. 
There's that guy right there that I see on his own. There's a whole bunch of non ones on their own. Let's do this one here. There you go. Perfect. Well, there you have it, my friends. So I think we'll we'll end it there. You know, it's not a super long episode or anything like that, but uh, we got one thing down there. We got our two leaper mounts, which was really awesome. So I like that. That was a pretty good uh, episode. And to be fair, usually my episodes were supposed to be thirty minutes. They just sometimes got really, 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 really long in the recent times. But uh, Either way, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and we'll see wonderful people next time. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.